Alright, so I was going to make this video before I forget. This is my um, iPod I got off Craigslist. Basically, I traded my 32GB Zoom HD for this trade across. Came with a screen protector, four extras, a little silicone case, and original contents. Um, so here's my apps. we got photos, mail, contacts, calendar, YouTube, settings, maps, Google Earth, Pandora, Facebook, Craigslist, Messenger, The Weather Channel, Text Plus, Battery Magic, which is my one of my favorite apps. It tells you your battery life um, to the nearest time, esti uh, you know, estimates to the closest, you know, pretty awesome. Um, Echofon, but really it's just Twitter. Uh, my music library, just a whiz through really quick. There you go. And um, Safari, App Store, low battery. Okay, my games. Got okay, game folder one. Hope you can read that. Game folder two. Game folder three. There isn't really much of an of a categorization, so just fill them up folder by folder. Five, game folder six, game folder seven, game folder eight, and game folder nine, game, uh, sounds, sound apps, just random sound boards and whatever, sounds too, uh, music apps, VLC, Shazam, Lyrics, uh, we got Tools, Tools 2, and uh, Toys, which is sounds and lighter, uh, stuff like that, Drawing. This page, you got G4, Google, um, Adult Swim, Horoscopes, Yellow Pages, Wikipedia, eBay, Yahoo, Amazon, Redbox, Vivo, Dictionary, which you can use offline, awesome the source, uh, Netflix, and Revision 3. Next, iTunes, uh, Hide Your Pictures, uh, Opera, what's this? Oh, Comics, we got Dilbert and Garfield, Ignonito, oh yeah, App Shopper, Calculator Light, and um, what's that one? Oh, Offline Reader. And uh, shop list free. That's that's all my apps. Um, my favorite apps are probably um, the Office Jerk one, the Paper Throw one, and probably the Ski Ball one. That's pretty awesome. Basically, what we do is you roll the ball again in the hole. Pretty simple. But it eats it eats battery life like a crack addict on Sunday. You know, it's pretty bad. Don't know what that means, but pretty much all you do. I played one of these uh, last week. It was pretty fun. You can actually play it for a quarter. But yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so here is the iPod out of its case. This case sucks. It it comes off really easily, and after so many times of taking it out of my pocket, this part right here gets clipped on the screen protector. It peels off little by little every single day, and it's really freaking annoying because the little pieces of grass get stuck underneath there, and um, when I'm mowing, it, it gets stuck underneath there. It's really annoying, so let me take this off. And as you can see, the screen is immaculate. It's in perfect condition. There is a one scratch. I mean, a few fingerprints. That's because I just took the screen protector off, and it took uh, you know sticky residue. And um, yeah, so it's it's in amazing shape. iPods are pretty hard to get grip on. So I'm gonna put in the light, and as you can see, I mean it is flawless. I mean I heard about somebody, I can't remember his name, but it was Dell zero three. No, it wasn't Dell zero three zero four. Yeah, it was. He on iPod. He spent, I believe, it was 180 or is it 200? No, it was a, it was like 130 for a 16 gigabyte. No, 8 gigabyte first gen. I'm like, what the crap? No. Yeah. Um, so it came with the dock connector. iPod Touch. It came with all the original stuff. Designed by 
Apple in California, made in China, hits you now. Um, iPod Touch Quick Start Guide basically tells you how to plug in a computer and wipe your butt. The Apple stickers. And, uh, one, two, three, uh, screen protectors. So that was awesome. Three. No charge. And, um, pretty much your, uh, uh, Im important product information guide, like, don't, um, break it and sue them because you broke it. Type of thing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. On the back side, you can see... It's got a lot of scratches, but, you know, that's typical for iPods. There's no dents, but, yeah. I mean, keep a screen protector on it. I mean, take really good care of it. The thing I like about Zunes is that they're really indestructible. Like, I never dropped it or anything, but I never need a screen protector. I, you know, I used it with dirty hands after mowing whatever, and the screen was still in perfect condition. There's light, teeny tiny scratch you could barely make out if you showed it in light, but other than that, it was in great shape. So, um... If I find another Zoom HD on, Cra on Craigslist for really cheap in the future, you know, whether it be next year, three years, or five years, you know, you can you can bet I'd get it because I love I loved how um, the navigation that was on the iPod is just so flat. Plus, it's so rounded; it's very slippery in the hand. I liked how the the Zoom was very very firm and easy to hold. I don't like how this is rounded. It's like it's why I like this case like to have a case to keep good grip. But yeah, I'm going to shammy this down and try to um, clean it when I put the next screen protector on. So, yeah, as you can see, it's in pretty freaking nice shape. So, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.